So with fermentation, this has to do with the completion of the alchemical chamber within. The substances of the body have been adjusted in a way that allows for a deep alchemical transformation to take place. Fermentation is in many ways, both a watery and fiery alchemical step. It involves the breaking down of toxin, of negative energies, of shadow dimensions of the archetypes. These things break down and temporarily their qualities are exaggerated within the aspirant's personality. And through playing out some of those karmas, they're able to very quickly transform them because of the alchemical nature of the system. So keep in mind that when you have certain urges or desires that are connected to karma, sometimes the best thing to do is actually indulge them physically through a place of non-attachment, through a place of non-judgment, and through a place of positive intention. And this allows for you to actually play the karma out in a slightly exaggerated form, but through not resisting it and through applying it in such a conscious way, the karma is then transformed. So fermentation will exaggerate certain imbalances temporarily as these imbalances are ultimately broken down and purified. Now, as this fermentation process continues, gas is produced. And this gas possesses purity and impurity. It is filtered through the higher centers of the body. The negative energies remain through that filtration. They sink back down to the alchemical cauldron where they are then burned up. And from here, the distillation occurs. The purified steam, the purified vapor rises above the body into the higher dimensional planes. Think of this steam that's produced, this gas that's produced at the distillation step as tiny particles of light. But when you observe them from a distance, they look like a steam, they look like a vapor. Now imagine your early solar system before the planets were formed. All you had was a gigantic dust cloud made of stellar particles. Once the sun was formed, the other planets began to form through the rotational field the sun created. This caused different components within the dust cloud to begin to spiral and rotate in synchrony with the sun's rotation. Eventually, all of these disparate elements became clumped together, forming a planet. Your planets in ancient times were considered to be gods. The final step, what you call coagulation, represents that steam, those particles spiraling, condensing together, forming a planet above you. This planet, this pearl of light, is the energy body, successfully created through the seven stages of alchemy.